plenty of diesel majors hard at work there bringing in the silage crop. A very labour-intensive job back in the 1950s, as it still can be today in the 21st century. Meanwhile, back in the world of ploughing championships, the Ford Film Unit pulled out all the stops for their coverage of the 1956 World Ploughing Championships, held for the first time in Britain at Shillingford in Oxfordshire. October the 11th, 1956, saw the opening of the fourth World Ploughing Contest, the first ever to be held in England. The place chosen was Shillingford in Oxfordshire, and a quarter of a million visitors arrived by almost every kind of transport to watch experts from 13 countries compete for the Golden Plough, symbol of world supremacy in the art of ploughmanship. The Fordson Diesel Major was indeed a very, very successful machine. But, as I mentioned at the beginning of the programme, that didn't stop people thinking they could improve on it, or indeed adapt it for other uses. One company who made many machines based on the Fordson tractor were County Commercial Cars from Fleet in Hampshire. This firm assembled a crawler version of the Fordson tractor, and here we see it hard at work with a very interesting and unusual attachment. The steady spread of bracken in the upland and hill areas in Great Britain is a constant challenge to the farmers of those parts. On the Cluidian Range in Denbyshire, 18 sheep farmers united to form the Cluidian Range Grazers Association. Their objective? To stop the infringement of this prolific weed on the pasture land and to reclaim new land for grazing. An area of five to six hundred acres was involved, extending 1,300 feet up steep gradients. These unusually difficult conditions call for a well thought out and economical plan. After exhaustive experiments, the Fordson Major Diesel with County Full Track and the Holt Bracken Breaker were chosen to do the job. 